Welcome to Paris, the capital of France, but also one of the most diverse capitals in the world. France has the largest populations of Africans in Europe and has a super diverse mix of different cultures that you can experience in the city. Paris embodies how current societies have transitions from a single to a multiple cultural identity, which I named Africanité, Creolité and Mondialité, inspired by Martinique's writer Edouard Glissant. In today's video, I will share 8 things to do in Paris that will allow you to explore the city, but also to travel through different continents and cultures right in the French capital. My starting point in Paris was the African chic 25 hours hotel Terminus Nord, so check out that video as well. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more fashion, art and travel videos and like and share this video with your friends. When you arrive in Paris by train, you will arrive at Gare du Nord, which is closely located to Barbès and Château Rouge, the place to be if you want to experience and explore North and West African cultures. Luckily, the tour Little Africa in Paris takes you through several hotspots in the neighborhood with a guide. During the tour, you will go to Pearl Vagabond, a brand run by a Senegalese designer and worn by Beyoncé. During the tour, you'll also discover the boutique of Maison Chateau Rouge, a brand that has become very popular in France in the last few years and also combines a social mission to their brand. If you take the example of the BISAP, they help the African company with the design, branding and then they buy the full product so that the company and the African economy can prosper. Doing the tour was so inspiring and relaxing because you can get the city guide where everything is featured but having someone to take you around and do the storytelling made it so enjoyable and add so much perspectives to the experience. I will leave the link for the city guide and the tour in the description box. During the Little Africa in Paris tour, we also stopped by Sap & Co, run by Jocelyn, a Congolese French local celebrity, it is not only featured in the 25 Hours Hotel's decor and book, but also made an appearance on the throne in Maître Gims' music video, Sapé Comme Jamais. Probably one of my favorite songs by Maître Gims, which is a musical celebration of Congolese culture, artists and the Sap lifestyle, which is all about elegance infused in everyday life. One of my followers, Lucy, tipped BMK Paris Bamako because she said you can have delicious African vegetarian food here as well. You can also have meat and chicken, but luckily for me they also had vegan versions of their popular dishes as well. And recently they made it to Time Out Paris top 50 restaurants to visit under 13 euros.
Besides the delicious food and colorful decor, you can also shop African goodies such as chocolate, honey, oils and much more. And a fun fact, Bamako is the capital of Mali. The sap bar is inspired by Congo, as sap is a lifestyle that unites fashion conscious men. Sap means the society of ambiance makers and elegant people, and you can see it in the way they dress, the colors they wear, and the elegance they exude in everyday life. This elegance was captured for the sap bar, which offers elegant colorful drinks in a beautiful decor that is not only chic, but also features old records and cassettes to celebrate music from Congo and other African countries. Even if you're not a guest at 25 hours hotel, you can come here and have a drink. Another one of my followers, Lily, recommended the artist Detone, and I'm happy she did. Detone's work are conversation starters, and the great thing about art is that it's free for interpretation. There's no right or wrong, yet it inspires a dialogue. What I loved about Detone's arts are the many layers and ways you can see it depending on your perspective. Up close you can see all the detail and work that went into it, and all the layers. Yet if you take two steps back, you see something completely different. What do you see when you look at his work? Let me know in the comments below. Besides the inspiring conversations we had in his gallery, he also gave us the tip for our restaurant that night, as I told him I'm vegetarian. He recommended Jaja restaurant, as they serve great Ital food. There you can choose the meal of the day and I love the setting of the place. Very minimalistic yet cozy. And the food was awesome. The team Africanité, Creolité and Mondialité all comes together at Stade de France and the French football team. And luckily, you can do a guided visit here. France won its first World Cup in 1998, and that was also the birth of the term Black Blanc Beurre, which means black, white and butter, symbolizing the football's team rich diversity which was from everywhere. And even before 1998, I've grown to love the football team because seeing people from different cultural backgrounds gave me so much hope. So when they won in 1998, it was not only a nation that won, but cultural diversity as well. Although that's what I saw, a lot of it was an illusion. And if you want to learn why, I would urge you to watch the documentary on Netflix called Les Bleus, which talks all about the French football team. The Stade de France was built for the World Cup in 1998 and the football player Zidane was the first French player to score in the stadium and also the one that led France's victory and then becoming a legend. Zidane's roots are in Kabylie and in an interview he said that he feels both Kabyle and French. When his dad left Kabylie and immigrated to France he had no shoes on his feet and in 1998 he saw his son win the World Cup with his team. His shirt hangs next to Mbappé's, who's now the most popular player and has roots in Cameroon and Algeria. One old player I would recommend you follow is Lilian Turin, who has a foundation that offers education against racism. I will leave the link below. As he states, nobody is born a racist, you become it, and history has programmed us all to see each other as black, white, Arabs and Asians. He also previously teamed up with artist Sifu to educate and enlighten people about this matter. Sifu is also one of the many artists who performed at Stade de France. Besides football, you can come here for rugby, 
athletism competitions and concerts. Many renowned artists have performed here, such as Beyoncé, Rihanna, Kassaf and Maître Gims who recently sold out the Stade de France. When art meets technology, magic happens. At Atelier des Lumières, you'll experience an immersive exhibit and currently you can see the works of Van Gogh and Japanese art until January 5th. And there are even nights where the Atelier des Lumières is open until 10 at night. So go at night to have an inspiring night out. Buying tickets at the door is really hard, so buy them online so you're sure to have your ticket. I added a link in the description box to make it easier for you. Have all you can eat breakfast, a delicious lunch or dinner at the modern Tel Avivian restaurant Nanny. You can enjoy an all you can eat breakfast for 24 euros and after having it the first day, we couldn't wait to have breakfast the next morning. Of course you had breakfast classics such as cereals, oatmeal and pastry, but I was delightfully surprised with the Tel Avivian culinary gems such as this chickpea dish, the abundance of hummus and guacamole, as I've been eating avocado every day lately. There's also a coffee bar where you can order your coffee and consume it in such a tasteful and colorful decor. The light pink adds a soft feminine touch while the vibrant wall art reflects the hotel's and Paris' colorful and global identity. If you want to try Nanny's food, Paris is not the only city where you'll find this, as you also have restaurants in Amsterdam, Berlin, Zurich, Cologne, Mallorca and much more. In Paris, it's located at 25 hours Hotel Terminus Nord. I hope you enjoy these 8 colorful hotspots in Paris. Which one did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more travel art and fashion videos and I see you in my next video.